Nation's Talk Back Radio Show. Join in on informational, motivational, and controversial topics. It's all about the exchange. Here's your host, your girl Stormy on the mic, and co-host Eddie Up. What's up, what's up, what's up? Hope you guys can hear it. You know, if you guys are tuning in, what I want you guys to do is share, share, share. Make sure you go up and share with everybody. This is going to be a hot topic tonight. I uh, hope everybody is doing pretty good. Uh, we're trying to make sure we stay connected and that you guys can hear us. So if you're out there in Facebook land, live stream land, or however we're streaming, Instagram, whatever, make sure you text and say, oh, I can hear you because it's very important that we know that you can hear us, okay? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Good evening. Hello. We are licensed by ASCAP to play, play our music, so please don't take us down. Company Exchange Talk Radio is your Urban Connection, and I'm your homegirl, Stormy on the mic, and this is my homeboy, Mr. Eddie Up. What's up? What's up? How you doing, Eddie? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing real well. You know what? It's Lent, you know, so we're going to give praise to God and thank him for this platform that he's allowed us to have, you know. Everybody's doing their fast and stuff, and we're giving God the <laughs> honor and the glory, so, you know, um... Keep on keeping on. You know, that's six to six. You know, that's a little uh, lot to be doing. But guess what? We're well able. God did it. He, he fasted in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights, right? That's right. That's right. So we can do 12 hours a day. Keep on fasting, y'all. So, Eddie, yeah. how you doing? I'm doing great. You know, we missed you last week. I know. Oh, my goodness. You can't be leaving me like that. I'm doing business for me and you. Oh, okay. I'm well, keep on doing your business, baby. Right? You know keep on doing your business. That's what I'm saying. Yes, yes. Keep on doing your business. I didn't get to see the show last <laughs> you know, week because we... Keep I'm, on doing your business. I'm in meetings trying to get me and her up there. You that's know right. Saying? That's right. That's right. You know what the doctor stepped in, you know. He didn't have no prescriptions, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I he didn't write say. no prescriptions, Eddie, but, you know, he, he stepped in. <laughs> I just want to say that you guys know that Stormy has some books. All right. And they're great. So we're gonna try. We're trying to work on turning them into a movie. So right. y'all just pray for us because that's what that's what I was working on her stuff and my stuff. Yes. You know? Look, let them keep on working. We're we we're, we're about that. We're about that life. Because you know we we're about building each other up. You that's know what I'm right. saying? That's what we all need to do is to Team build work, each make the other. dream work. Let's make the dream work. Go ahead, if, if if she make it, I make it. If I make it, she make it. That's how we do it. And then we have a team sitting in front of us and, and we're all together. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yes, yes, I yes. love our team. I do, too. I <laughs> love our director you know I, I, and our I, DJ. The, the <laughs> <laughs> DJ Run B. That's right, that's right. See, he on time with that. He on time. You see that? <laughs> he ain't playing with his advertisement. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all something. And this ain't being corny or nothing. No homos, Ron C. Okay. Our whole little crew, we all bomb. Yeah. I just got to yes. let y'all know. Yes. That. You know what I'm saying? Ain't an ugly yes. person in this crew. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but you know yeah. what? I have an old neck, so if you guys nah. have a remedy for my neck, <laughs> seriously, I'm telling y'all, as you age, you know. Some people inherit certain things. I, I seem to have inherited the old neck look. So if y'all have any remedies or any cream you know or what? some salve, you Your can neck me. was like that in high school. You okay? <laughs> I mean, junior high. He said I had an old she neck. She don't have an old high. neck. She just got a crease <laughs> that's been there since she was in. Since she used to wear that turtleneck in, in Dickinson Dogs. <laughs> Your so man like right. it. That's all the matter. Okay. You know what? You okay. That's, all hmm. that that's yeah. right. He don't be saying, baby, I don't like that. He be like, go on with your wrinkles. Your neck. Go on with your wrinkles, self. <laughs> <laughs> don't spit. <miss. laughs> it's good to be back, y'all. Yes, it is. It's good to have you back, yeah. Father God. Eddie, tell us a little bit about our show. Oh, well, you know, you know, our show is inspirational, informative, mm -hmm. and controversial. Yes. We come to you every Thursday from 6 to 8.30. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's 8. 6.30 to Eight. Yes, get it together, get it together. Mm -hmm. uh, with a show that we feel represents all the cities in a good way. I don't know if there's somebody calling us already. I guess they calling us already. Okay, they trying to talk. Calling. But you guys know what we do. Call in at 310-946-3110. Again, it's 310-946-3110. All right, uh, who right. do we have on the line? It's your girl, Sharon, from from Compton. <laughs> <laughs> We here, you don't we see here. us? Huh? You don't see us? We, we on? No, I said I was looking for you. I see you. I'm just saying, I, I got you. I got you, but I'm out here in Albuquerque. So. Can you hear Albuquerque, us? Albuquerque, New Mexico. All right, girl. You, okay. Can you hear us, girl? Keep it up. Y'all doing a good job. Keep it up. 
Thank, Thank you. you. Look, girl, look. You done went to Albuquerque. You could have took your son his T-shirt. You got mug. You got you got a grocery bag over here. Oh, she can't get her stuff. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> yeah. That's right. Well, we okay. appreciate you. That's what's up. We love you, girl. We love you. All right. Okay. Thank you. All okay. right. Yes. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. That's what's up. That's what's up, huh? <laughs> I lost it on here. Okay. So, you told us about our show already. Mm -hmm. Cause you know our girl Sharon, you know, see when you have loyal people that will, that watch you, that's what's up, right? Mm -hmm. So listen, thank you, uh, thank you for calling in. She's all the way in um, Albuquerque, New Mexico. There you go, there you go. Thank you, Eddie, because I had a little brain fog. We have those. Yeah, you know when you get a when certain you get a certain age, age that part, right, brain baby, farts. Listen, farts, fog, farts, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. All of that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I have one of those. So anyway, <laughs> have one of those. You know, um, we may as well do some. Uh, they won't? I guess we could. What you think? All right. Yes. They gonna put find us. Put the mic closer to you. On Cali sleeping. My close to you. Close to you. Okay. Uh -oh. breathing. Don't you close no eyes. You know, every time I hear that song on the radio, I always think I'm at work or something. I hear that song come on. <laughs> You're like, here we go, huh? Time. Here we go. Here we go. That's what's uh, up. Uh, you want to do your stay well? Yeah, I can do it. Okay, um, well, we stay and walk out. I, I just want to talk about the guy, um, Cliff, Clifton, uh, Clifford, I'm sorry, Clifford Hall. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys heard about him. He uh, had to do 180 days in jail, in the county jail for overpaying his child support and over visiting his child. Say what? Over visiting his child. How do you over visit your child? You know like say for instance you're supposed to visit him on Monday, Tuesday mm -hmm. the mother has him but you only get him on Monday, Tuesday. Right. And you, he visit Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. She complained? Yeah. The mother did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they got mad because he overpaid his child support so that's why they uh, jailed him. He was arrested? Yeah. He was supposed to do 180. He got out, though. His attorney got him out. <laughs> I'm like... Father God. What? You know, it, it, what, what I don't get is the men that are trying to do for their kids, mm -hmm. trying to be a part of the kids. Like, he was like, how am I going to pay my child support if I'm in jail? How am I going to take care of my kid or see my kid if I'm in jail for doing what I'm supposed to do? It's just a glitch. It's a glitch in their systems and... It's like everybody gets the downfall for that. And I think the men that are trying to do for the kids and the women that uh, are doing this mischievous thing because of some fact he's not with her or whatever it may be, I think that's wrong. There you go. Okay, DJ Rondon already flushed you know, like, down a toilet, right? I, yeah, I had a friend like that. And uh, he was, him and his girl broke up. She was a little mad, but he was giving her $350 a week. Mm -hmm. And I kept telling him, give her a money order. Give her a check or something. I said, oh, that's cool. He was giving her cash. Mm -hmm. Soon as he got a girlfriend, she really got mad. So what she did was went and reported him and said he wasn't paying child support. So now you look at this. You're getting paid $350 a week, right? Mm -hmm. And a, a month, that's what, $1,400 a month? I guess. Yeah, $1,400 a month. But you go turn him in. Because, you know, he ain't got no receipts. And she got less. And she got less. <laughs> you know what? So, that, that's not funny, it, but, it, it, but it's but funny. Because it, it, you shot yourself. Yeah, you shot yourself into it. And now, and then when he <laughs> when he would get the kid, he said, well, you better make sure you have his hair cut and, and everything else because uh, I'm not paying for it. You know, the but sad he, part about it is the kids. The kids uh, suffer. But right. he did it, but he was, she was like, she would call him and say, you need a haircut. She said, you got the money, cut it. Because he was doing everything. You know, giving her money plus buying them clothes and you know, taking him out mm -hmm. doing different stuff, and he mm -hmm. just wanted to show her, you know, I was doing everything, but you felt you was going to get more and, and make it worse, worse for me, so now you're going to suffer. Well, you I'm know what? It's unfortunate that a lot of times mm -hmm. um, when men move on and they get someone else in their life, that the... Um, the woman got that choco on with that kid. Well, so much the, the choco, she gets jealous. She gets jealous. Oh, yeah. You know, and so she's trying to uh, play with the kid. 
in order to try to hurt him, but she ends up hurting herself. Hurt and, herself. and that's sad. Yeah. The fact that you have a father that wants to spend time with his child, yeah. the fact mm -hmm. that, the, that you have somebody that's paying child support, and then you turn him in, yeah. uh, and then you end up getting less. less. But then that's somebody different than what you were talking about. Because yeah. the other mm -hmm. person, they yeah. actually went to jail for spending too much time and paying too much too money. Too much time and paying too much money. I don't know what kind of law that is. Yeah. Well, you know, they need to apply that kind of yeah. damn law to Trump. Thank you. You know, yeah. somebody that's uh, avoiding taxes, won't mm -hmm. let you see his taxes. Won't let you see his taxes. You know, but the Democrats really got him by the balls. They're really, really, really trying to impeach him. They're trying. They try. I've never, as long as I've been grown and actually been dealing with being able to vote, mm -hmm. have experienced a, 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 man, a president like he this. He tweets all the time. He tweet more than he do write good speeches. You know, well, like, he, you know he doesn't write a speech. No, he don't write a speech. I'm no. saying that he does speech when he do a speech. What I'm saying is he he has hopefully he has somebody writing speeches for him, but then he gets up there and says idiotic stuff yes, anyway. Yes. So oh, yeah. obviously he must be writing his own speech. You're right. <laughs> You're right about that. You're right about that. But yeah. I've never seen a president that tweets so much. He's tweet more than he take care of his business. Well, it's been drama ever since he's, he's been, been in office. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. the sad part about it. But whatever. We're not giving uh, Trump any of our no, time. No, tonight. we don't give him no time. No. But what I want you guys to stay woke on in this. Meghan Markle's racist online abuse puts Palace on high alert. Look, don't start messing with Meghan Markle. She's in the Palace, right? Now, listen. We have all these trolls that's online, social media. Mm -hmm. And they making all these racist uh, remarks about her. You know, um, and so what they're doing is they have, uh, uh, they're going in and removing all the stuff. They call it the N word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All on social media, you know, and so um, <laughs> when you uh, deal with the palace, the palace is blocking all of that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they have five, th literally 5,000 posts uh, of racist, racist remarks, remarks about uh, Meghan Markle. So, you know what? Look at you guys. Look, stand down. The palace ain't playing with you guys. They're not playing. And the bottom line is she married y'all and she pregnant. <laughs> and they're going to have that biracial baby. So, that's everybody that's bad about it need to quit tripping. His parents ain't married. Because it is what it is, is right? Mm -hmm. It's about to be another sister or brother in the palace. <laughs> in the palace. In the palace. So have at it. <laughs> We're about to have some royalty in the palace. So why are you mad? They big mad. And But this is the part that makes me mad. You hide behind social media. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. You're not bold enough yeah, to be out here with your name yeah. and your face, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But okay. you run up on the palace if you want to, y'all going to have problems. Y'all so. see the men stood out there just standing like statues? <laughs> <laughs> they had about 20 accounts. I think they said were responsible for about 70% of the tweets sharing anti Megan hashtags. Pictures, memes, the fact that uh, such a small number of users generated such a large number of tweets suggest that the accounts were created for the purpose of producing negative content. So they created these accounts just to produce negative content for about Megan. <laughs> well, then this may as well knock it off. Because <laughs> she in the palace, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> And ain't nothing y'all gonna do. And guess what? Hus get half. <laughs> Hang on in there, sister. Hang on in there. Do your ten. <laughs> uh -huh. Do your ten. Cause her baby's gonna either be a princess or it's, uh, he's gonna uh, be prince. A, a, a prince. There it is. So y'all can't do nothing about that. Hashtag Megan's win. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Megan Black. <laughs> okay, there it is. You know. Okay, so moving on from Megan. So just stay woke on that. You know, racism. You know, is it's gonna be a part of yeah. life forever because you mm -hmm. got these little idiotic people that just can't accept that life has changed and we're trying to move on but you know yeah. it is what it is so stay strong Megan girl stay strong I have another oh, one yeah. okay look you guys listen yeah. did anybody see the interview with R. R. Kelly, Kelly. Mm -hmm. did somebody please tell me about the cry baby he crying he Jesse up. Smullins is crying <laughs> everybody crying but let me say this I'm still holding out for Jesse yeah I still got Jesse back. When I found out Jesse and I were born on the same day, June 21st, I still have to hold my brother down. I'm still going to hold Jesse down. He's no, innocent he until proven guilty, yeah. Addy. You think he's guilty? Don't, he he brought on my birthday, though. Oh, you know what? I, <laughs> what? He's not guilty. He's born on my birthday. <laughs> I'm still home holding him down. He some attention, and, and, and I guess he wasn't getting the attention he wanted. So you know, some See, the way you're saying that, you're making him like he's guilty. <laughs> you don't know. Oh, well, that's the, no, he I'm already just, said he I'm got just... beat up. <laughs> you know? Well, why did he got in jail then? He turned himself in. He's not in jail. Well, he did go to jail first. Well, but he's out. He no, got no, bail no. money. He unlike, got bail money unlike R. Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> that's right. Our <laughs> Kelly kid, you know, afford a, was it a hundred thousand the first time? That's what they say. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. 
Uh, they have all of the news. What, what you have about R. Kelly and his money? They say he has a lot of problems. He has some, what is that, federal tax Federal liens, tax liens. Total eight million. Total eight million. Mm-hmm. And uh, where he, between 2009 and 2012, the records also showed a federal tax payment of more than $2.6 million in 2008. Mm -hmm. And the state of uh, Illinois' tax lien of uh, about 20, 24000 uh -huh. was filed in 2012 against Kelly and now his ex-wife, Andrea Kelly. Uh -huh. So they're saying that R. Kelly has some um, tax problems. He has money problems. He's not making any money. But what happened was he went to uh, child support court, right? Yeah. He owed 160000 in back taxes, right? So basically, he couldn't pay it. But what R. Kelly said is he had $350,000 in the bank. That he moved to another bank. Yeah, he moved to another bank. <laughs> Father God. He moved to another bank and that it didn't get transferred over in time enough. Well, what happens is it doesn't get verified because anytime you move more than $10,000, it has to be verified. It has to be verified. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, they even check it on 3000 So those of y'all might be, they, they don't know if it's mon money laundering or, or whatever. You know, now the banks have changed. You can't even go and uh, deposit cash unless it's into your own account. So mm -hmm. they're doing their checking. So whatever, he'll, nine times out of 10, he's going to have to give up half of that if he wants mm -hmm. to get out. I didn't really do any research on him. Is he out? Does anybody know? Did he did he post bail? No, he didn't no. post bail. I don't think he posted bail this time. Okay. Can we get a fact check on that? And we can tell you if R. Kelly is still uh, in jail. But we haven't heard about him being out. Now, he, he put on that big show with Gail. You know, when <laughs> he, he did that up and balling said, out. Y'all trying to kill me. I love my kids. I'm trying to do for my kids. But you have 160000 in back child support. How you doing for your kids? He's telling his kids he wants to spend time with his kids. And why all of a sudden you want to spend time with your kids now? You wouldn't think about that when you mess them up, little kid. Hmm. Mm -hmm. He guilty. I, I Did you feel, so, you feel sorry for him? Yeah, no. I don't feel sorry for him. You feel sorry for him? You know what was going to happen is the same thing that happened to OJ. Yeah. They didn't get you the first time? Yeah, because you, you, that's what he said on his, on his interview. I beat that case. See? Mm -hmm. But what's that? Do you know? You remember that uh, that that movie? I'm gonna get you sucker. I'm gonna get you sucker. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get him sucker. <laughs> him, him got golf. And and they wouldn't play with him. They figure, okay, you gonna bail out on that hundred thousand? Mm -hmm. We are gonna drag your ass right, right on back in here. But it's hundred and sixty. Now the funny thing about it is, in order to accumulate hundred and sixty thousand dollars, I'm not sure what his child support payment was. But why they just got dragging him now? Why they didn't drag him before? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Why y'all wasn't dragging him before? Because I'm sure he's been owing that for a long time, right? Yeah. So why is he just now getting drug into court behind the child support? Get the, you know, I don't want to say this, but it wasn't for Andrea because if they was for her, she would have had her money, right? Mm -hmm. So it's for the it's for uh, uh, the lawyers and the people that now are trying to run some cases against it for their own. For them, basically, right? Mm -hmm. So that we can get you one way, we'll get you another. Well, hopefully it would benefit his ex-wife and also benefit his children. children yeah. But, you know, to get on TV and just do major crying, like, you know, like you little, little, little punk, sort of thing, you know, I don't understand why he's crying. I did, I put a little picture on with him and Jesse at the same time. Everybody crying. <laughs> Jesse got on TV crying, now R. Kelly crying. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying a man is not supposed to cry. They look like some real punks. I ain't even gonna lie. You know, boss up. Dang. Can somebody boss oh, up? Should not get you, man. You know, you know everybody falls goes, all out on the ground talking about he's sick. And <laughs> yeah, he's sick with 25 to life now. Oh, well. Oh, well, huh? That's too bad. I don't know if that $100,000 they bond, bailed him out the first time mm -hmm. was a bond. It was done, paid, uh, paid by uh, uh, a fan. It was paid by a friend of his. It said it was a business yeah, partner. It said a fan paid. The hundred thousand really? dollars. Forty seven year old business. Look right here. It's right yeah. here. Owner of a suburban Romelloville identified yeah. herself as the bond slip as a friend of Kelly's. Friend of Kelly's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. She's a fan too. She ain't no fan. Trust this. Everybody got a way of running their money. Mm -hmm. He yeah. already knew he was gonna that, go. That's probably his money. I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's his money. I'm sure uh what he did was he, he got a little over here and a little over there and mm -hmm. uh, say, so when I go down, we're going to act like I don't have no money, mm -hmm. okay? That and get me out in two days. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. didn't stay a week? No. Go ahead. Okay. I just want to chime in. We all, you know, we're talking about him putting money away. I don't think he's that smart to be honest. You don't? Yeah. No. Yeah. He's, he's very, he's, he's I don't think we give him too much credit. He put some money to the side. But, he, but, 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 but Ron, he might got some people on his team that's smarter than him and said that you might need to do this, Gail. <laughs> you don't think he's smart enough to do that? No, mm -mm, he might not. So who who do you think talked him into doing that interview? 
I don't know, he needs to be fired though. But yeah, his turn. They said it's good. He needs to do that. He needs to get up there and his promises. Because they all need to be fired. That, 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 was, that was terrible. He wasn't ready. Uh -huh. He wasn't ready for that. Okay. At all. But okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I don't think that anyone uh, suggested that he did that. I think he made that up on his, his own. I did. Yeah. I mean, that's like he's doing everything else. He decided that he wanted to. Uh, uh, take young girls. He decided he wanted to put them in rooms. He decided that, you know, he wasn't giving them back. I think he did Why it. Why would I song. do that? That's what he's saying. No, hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead, caller. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? This is Anthony. I want to come to the hospital resident. How are you doing? All right. Hi, how Anthony. Doing? How are you? How are you doing today? I'm uh, on the phone. Say what? I'm doing pretty good, thank you, thank you. So how you feel about R. Kelly? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, like I said, you're telling me, I don't it's just like when DJ Michael Jackson did that stuff, I don't believe it until I was a kid, so I believe it. So you don't, be you don't believe R. Kelly did that? You don't believe R. Kelly did that? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you you really are are you really serious? You don't think you 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 going down the line with Kobe and Cosby and you don't think and you don't think he did that? No, I don't think Kobe did that. Oh, okay, but let's talk about R. Kelly. Did you see the a film on Lifetime? Did you see the video he did? Did you see the video he did in um what was it was it two thousand uh, was that nine what, what he did with the fourteen year old? The video he did with the fourteen year old? No, I didn't see that one. You uh, just you just you just backing him up just on principle because he's a black man? Why are you backing him up? Well, like I said, he, he did it, you know, like I said, he, he did it, you know, so he, he did it, if he didn't do it, you know, let the truth, let the truth, you know, let the truth, let the truth, you know, come, don't, 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 you know, hold, don't, if you did it, don't come clean it after you did it, you know. Right, 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 okay. Well, you know what? We're not gonna, you know what? I, I believe that he did it, you know. And everybody got their opinion, brother. And you got your opinion, and that's okay too. And I and I understand, you know, you standing for the brothers, whatever. But you know that is the, the, uh, he's going down this time. Trust that. So that's just my opinion. That's just throwing me on the mic. Figure he beat like, the he, other case. He going down, he Eddie. This one. No, he, he going, going down. down. He beat the other one, but he ain't beating this he one. He going down. But thank you for calling. Thanks we appreciate calling you calling me. in. Okay. All right. All right have a good night. Thank you. All right. All right, all right, all right. Y'all done heard it right here on the Exchange Talk Show. We got people out there that still believe in R. Kelly is not guilty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to say, boy, bye, but mm. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he's guilty. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I believe he's guilty, and I believe at the same time, I believe he's sick. And I believe the people that, and this is what I'm saying, we have enablers, people that just want to hang around and be around so bad that just enable stuff to happen. Well, I feel that the people that's around him, that work for him, that knew that was going on, mm -hmm. they need to go down as well there as There it him. is. Say that, you Eddie. Know, they need to go down as well as him. Y'all need to go down. Because you guys are accomplices. What's it called? Accomplices. Accomplices. That's what they call. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. accomplices. Yes. They're accomplices. Yes. Of the crime. Of the crime. Mm -hmm. Y'all helped him take them little girls in them rooms and everything. Y'all did it. Y'all need to go too. So y'all all need to be sitting there together. Well, you know what? Like I said, you know what? At the end of the day, the truth will prevail. Will be, yeah, will prevail. It, 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 right. people, well, not, not so much prevail. The truth will set you, set free. you free. I think what's going to happen is we're going. I think everything that's taking place is the truth. I think he got on there to try to figure if he had any fans, any fans yeah. and to see if anybody's going to be sympathetic. You know, it was the wrong move. It was the wrong time. He played the game last time by just basically stretching it out for six years, and people pretty much forgot about you know the mm -hmm. crime, right? So by the time it was time. Uh, for them to sentence him, you know, everybody was pretty much over it, mm -hmm. and he was found not guilty. Plus, on top of that, the little girl that he and was showing the film with, show up. she decided not to um, show, up. show up, and she didn't, and, and uh, she didn't. She said it wasn't him; yeah. it wasn't her. Well, her 
auntie, mm -hmm. which is her father's sister. Uh, what's her name? Star what's her name? Uh, no, uh, Sparkle. 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 Sparkle says she don't know what happened. She thinks that they got paid off. And I think they got paid off. Well, you, you know. know. And some parents take that. I ain't taking no damn money. Mm -mm. Well, I don't think he money. has enough money to pay anybody out now. They but, you know, hats off to the DJs and everybody that stopped playing his music. Okay. Hats off to people that yes. are not going to concerts and not allowing him to promote and have concerts and play his music. You know, it's a time and a place for everything, and they, mm -hmm. they didn't shut him down. Oh, yeah. and, but we should have shut him down a long time long ago, time. you know. And I'm just going to say, as far as the black community, we should have stopped, stopped supporting him a long time ago. Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes we just tend to turn a blind eye, mm -hmm. you know. And but, even the artists that perform with him on his songs and videos, they're all against it. Right. They, yeah. they, they apologize for Yeah, because we, we late in the game with it, though. Yeah. I mean, we all need to be said, I'm sorry. We late mm -hmm. in the game. Yeah. Okay, but the reason I brought up uh, uh, um, R. Kelly. R. Kelly was because Gail King did the interview. Mm -hmm. But what's happening right now is Gail King has a year left on CBS this morning, okay? Her contract and network is going to have to seriously pay up. Now, Gail usually makes about $6 million a year as an anchor on, um, it's called uh, CBS The Morning. The Morning. Right? Mm -hmm. So now what she's saying is she wants that to double or actually triple. She wants, she wants to get between 15 and $18 million a year. And I think what's going to happen is because now she brought in R. Kelly. You know, she did that little big interview. You know, and did you guys see how she sat there? When she he sat there and moved? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. she, she was real poised, she was right? Poised. She's probably going to get her money. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Do y'all think she got that interview because of Oprah? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be funny. Do you guys think she got I, that interview that, because of real. Oprah? I think so, because Oprah, Oprah's a uh, cop power, and that's her best friend, ain't it? Right. Yeah. So you think she set that up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I was but thinking. I think if Oprah set up, she would have set it up and put it on own. No. No. Well, oh, she's trying to help a girl out, so exactly. that's her so show. It has yeah. to be on her yeah. show, so she, you know, show. She, right. so she can get her money. Yeah, yeah girl, we're going to do this. Yeah, but I, because it was my best friend, that's what I would do. You know what, I'm let me call up R. Kelly people so you can get that down of you. <laughs> let, me, let me put my weight on it. <laughs> let me put my weight on it. Let me lean on that so you can get that interview. All right, girl. Look, girl. Good looking out. You know, I'm off our sisters. Get your money. Make your money. Yeah. Because she did what a they, good job. Huh? She did a good job. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Calls. That's what I'm talking about. Keep on calling y'all. We ain't even got to the subject matter. Go ahead, caller. All right. It's a question. Who? It's who? I wanted to comment on the R. Kelly situation that they're talking about. Well, okay. your background, you need to turn down whatever you got on the background. Okay, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead, lady. Go ahead, ma'am. Hello? Go ahead. We can hear you. Go ahead. Hey, uh, Sammy. What's up, baby? This is Crystal Hey, baby, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. How you doing? <laughs> I owe you some books, boo. I owe you some books. All right, girl. Uh, I was listening to the man that just called in and commented on the R. Kelly. <laughs> I really do think that he's guilty, but at the end of the day, if it would have been a different race, he would have went to jail way before now. With that being said, all the crimes that he's doing, and then people to believe that he didn't do it, but at the end of the day, these young ladies that are coming forward and talk to Gail that they're on TV, they're going to back him up, and they're going to say that their mom did this and their dad and their mom was getting money to actually um, get them to basically know that I'm trying to say to get paid. I don't believe the young ladies, and if that's the case, then you guys should have proof that your mother and father put you over there or sent you to R. Kelly for the money. Okay. Yeah, okay. you're right, because some of them did call, okay. some of them did say that uh, the parents just wanted money. That's the one that's not that's the one that's not on the show. So that was on that T V show. Mm -hmm. That's the one that's supposed to be still there. Why do you think what, yeah. why do you think right now is the reason that, that picture act, the show actually came out, that documentary actually came out? Because that had to be in the works for a long time. Why right now? Because this has been going on for a long time. You know, this has been going on for years. So why right now did they decide to do a documentary, okay, about R. Kelly 
and um, what was going on with all these young ladies because this has been going on for years and nobody has said anything. Everybody's turned a blind eye. He's gone to court. He's won his case. Okay, he's trying to press that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, that, that, that doesn't, yeah. I beat that and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. But now we're actually, we got documentaries. And now that we have a documentary, guess what? Things is moving. You know, I mean, it's, it's like this. Everything is going fast, fast, fast. We got you over here. Here's your bail. We're going to charge you, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you post bail. Now you got child support that he probably had that child support for, for a yeah, long, long time. time too. Yeah. But now all of a sudden it's really important, okay? Everything. Because now they, they ready to they ready to take him on down. When we should have had, he should have been taken down no, a long, long time, time ago. ago. When that video came out, he should have been taken down. You know, so everybody has their opinion. But girl, thank you for calling in. We thank appreciate you. you. No problem. All right. Take care. Thank you. You too, bye, bye bye. All right, all right. R. Kelly's still a hot subject. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. R. Kelly is still a hot subject. He really is. But you know what? Um, do you think Cosby should have went to jail? If R. Kelly didn't go, he said, "Well, I don't know." No, Cosby goes Cosby to jail. Goes. Well, Kelly didn't go because he was found not guilty. Mm -hmm. Cosby was found guilty, but what is he like? Eighty something years mm -hmm. old. And most of the people he, you know, he played with, he paid with. <laughs> he paid them and played them. <laughs> so now they're coming back 30 years later. Mm -hmm. Is there a, a, a statue of limitations on this I'll, stuff? It's Honestly. not, evidently it's not. It depends on what state, right? Yeah. I think it depends on uh, some of them what state it takes mm -hmm. place in. But I, I do, you know, like I said, Cosby got three years, you know. Um, they're trying to appeal it, you know. He'll probably be out in a year. You know, a year and a half or whatever, you know. But him, Cosby, Jesse, Jesse Smullett, Smullett, and uh, Kelly, they're all there being together, you know. <laughs> Maybe they can have, put a business plan together. <laughs> no, no, no. Come up with a whole house. <laughs> no, 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 Because Jesse Smullett and uh, uh, Bill Cosby will be out before R. Kelly. Oh, you think? They'll be oh, like, yeah. well, we don't know about you, R. We don't know about right. you, Kelly. You're right. just chilling here. We're going to make a plan to get out of here. I, I, I don't think there. Jesse's going to go to jail. You don't think so? It's a I misdemeanor. Think, well, it's like well, well, a lot of people I hope he just get uh, probation and have to do some community service or something like that. That's how things gonna happen for him. He's probably gonna pay some money. He's he was trying to get some it. money. He's gonna have to pay some money to, yeah. to get out. But I don't know if he's gonna actually go to I don't jail. Think he's gonna go to jail. Yeah, and you know the thing with that is, and what lawyers do, we 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 push it off and push it off and push it off until it's not important anymore. Not important anymore. Mm -hmm. The sad thing about it is, he might not get any work anytime soon. Mm -hmm. You know, because bottom line, what's gonna happen is. Just like they did, Monique, they will blackball your tail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't have no problem blackballing no, no, you. Well, oh, we're not working with you, okay? <laughs> we can get another year. Okay. But it's, you know, Monique is in Las Vegas now. Oh, yeah. She got her little uh, uh, resident out there now. Father God, thank you, Jesus. So we know she needed some change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's going to have to sell that. Uh, what you she, see that what did she get an Oscar? Did, did you see For Precious? Did she yeah, get an Oscar? Yeah, uh, is it made of gold? <laughs> can you sell it? <laughs> Melt it down. Yeah. Did you see that... Uh, Interview she did was on Steve Harvey show. I did. Yeah, I did. Steve Harvey told her he said you was wrong. I tell you, she's like she was mad at him, but he just told her, you know, you went by the wrong way. Monique is a strong sister. Is, the bottom really line is. is everybody has their way about going about things. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that she should have been out basically like uh, uh, stepping on um, Oprah, Oprah and every, I, I think it's a way to do anything. It's a way to do stuff. Yeah. Right. But, uh, you know, first of all, she's a comedian. She's used to saying what she has to say. She's used to speaking her mind. And, and she felt betrayed. Well, the thing that I disagree with is when she did Precious, when you do a movie, it's already a list of who gets paid what. Mm -hmm. And you sign the contract to agree to, mm -hmm. agree to accept that amount of money. Mm -hmm. She agreed to the 50000 She only got 50000 She only got 50000 in the Precious movie. And she got talked about that, but you agreed to it. Okay. So you can't be mad at that. Come on, he made all this money. I only got fifty thousand, but that's what you signed for. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you should have made your deal where you get the fifty thousand, and when the, when the movie come out, you get a percentage. Okay. That make your money. But okay. That's how you got to do it. Just like uh, Wakanda. Mm -hmm. No, not what's it called? Black Panther. Everybody's talking about uh, what's his name that played the father. Um, what's the man name with the deep voice? Um, Kim and um, is it Angela Bassett? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and, and uh, what was his name? He got the, the real distinctive voice. Not him. Oh, uh, with the hit thing on the back of his oh, name. Oh, Whitaker. Whitaker. Mm, or, the one with the dead eye? Yeah, and, and, the, and, the, and the thing on his neck. <laughs> he, him and her didn't get paid up front a lot of money people was talking about that and they you know they got the bigger names mm -hmm. but see people don't realize they got a big percentage off of the back end mm -hmm. like
like well, the dude who played started in the movie, he got three million mm. up front. And Andrew Bassett took five hundred thousand. But Andrew Bassett probably ended up with like ten, fifteen million because she got that percentage off that big gross money. Well, she mustn't have no backing money coming, so because yeah, if she did, she probably wouldn't have been running her mouth like that. What she said? I'm talking about. Uh, I'm talking about Monique. Oh no, I'm. I'm not yeah, no, I'm just saying that mm -hmm. if no, she didn't. That's what I'm saying. If you if you smart, you say okay, I'll take a small amount up front. If you feel that comfortable about the project, and say give me a percentage off the back end. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She That's must have made that deal. She, 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 no, she didn't make that deal. She just got the fifty thousand. Uh, she got fifty thousand for precious. Yeah, it's probably the most she even got in the last though. You know what I'm saying? Back then. Well, they offered her what a half a million to do something to, on, to, um, to do uh, Netflix. Yeah, and she got mad because uh, what's the young girl name? Uh, she ready. She got Tiffany. Hatch. Yeah, she got nine hundred thousand, and she feels that she should have got more than her. Okay, well we done so, with Monique, honey. Go on, Monique, mm -hmm. honey. Do your thing in Las Vegas, child. Whatever. Yeah, you got some. Whatever. You got your money. You didn't get your money, honey. We didn't talk about R. Kelly. Yeah, we didn't talk about so. Oh, we. Uh, this is what I want to tell you guys. Listen. Right now, I came across something. Uh, we all have these cameras, and we have our phones, and we have our laptops, and iPads, and different things like that. Uh, seriously, if you're not, when you're not using a camera, cover it up. Um, there was some statistics about mm -hmm. um, hackers, and actually, they said hackers and the FBI. Basically, they just go in, and, and people are being watched. So, and that's another way that people actually get your passwords and stuff like that. So, I came across that today, and basically, you know, stay woke on. Um, your uh, profile, stay woke on your passwords, and uh, basically, because I, what I did, I took a little piece of tape and just put it across where, like you see right here on this mm -hmm. particular uh, okay. laptop, it's covered. So uh, it's real, it's real. So protect yourself and make sure you are protected at all times because you just never know who's going to get your information. Okay, so stay woke on that. Let me see. Oh, our last stay woke, and this is about Jesse. We've just been talking about Jesse. Let me tell you this. Uh, a dozen of Northwestern hospital workers were fired for improperly um, reviewing Jesse Smollett's records. Now, look, they have fired about 12 people at Northwestern Hospital hmm. for actually looking at Jesse Smollett's medical records. They done walked into work and they said, poof, be gone. <laughs> 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 they up out of there. And we're done with you. You know what I'm saying? And everybody, this one there said, uh, they fired this nurse. This one there said she was trying to get to another patient's uh, information and she had to stroll across his. Now, tell me this. If you're in the medical field, how do you stroll across somebody else's? I mean, you would actually have to type in a type name, in the name to pull up that particular person's information, right? So how could you stroll across it? You in the S's or, you know, Smullet and maybe, Smith and, yeah. and all that goes maybe together? That Maybe that's what it and was. And she accidentally pushed it. Yeah, well, it. obviously they didn't think so because 12 people got fired. So, mm -hmm. poof, they out all, of here. They all accidentally scrolled yeah. and pushed the wrong S. You know what? <laughs> it, it's, 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 we have to stay prayed of y'all. Better start fasting because the world is in a shambles right now. We got people just doing yeah. any and every kind of thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to pray for all you guys. You know, Jesse, you did some, you, you, you messed up. You born on my birthday, so I'm, I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> I'm still, I'm, Eddie, I'm still holding out for I'm Jesse. Still out, yeah. I'm still holding out for I Jesse. I like Jesse. I, I, I just hate that, you know, this happened to him when he okay, did. Well, too bad him not going to be well, on he, Empire. He I'm going to miss Empire that. Uh, well, anyway, we're going to move so right along. You, you think you're going to get another son? Or? I don't know, honey. Maybe they shoot him again. Yeah, they, they, they'll kill him off. They'll kill him <laughs> off. Well, guess what? Ron, you ready for us? Big butts, I cannot lie. Uh oh, I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> you like big butts, Eddie? Yeah, don't lie. I don't like don't a lie. real big butt. I, I like a big, a nice butt. I don't <laughs> like, like a real big butt. I don't want a real, real big butt. <laughs> no, no, heck no. Nose is a nice solid butt that's real. Right, Ooh. right. You guys out there, y'all like big butts? Look, tell, tell me this. Okay, we're going to really get into this big butt situation. And our number again is 310-946-3110. Again, that number is? 310-946-3110. We're talking about butts today. Okay. Big old butts. Yeah. <laughs> big butts, real butts, sick butts. <laughs> <laughs> he said sick butts. Y'all right? see what I'm saying? Me and used to say they like a big butt and a smile, right? Yeah, yeah. Is, is that pretty much, you know, if you got a big butt, you got a smile, you winning, right? Man, I'm a serious thing. Yesterday, I knew we were going to be doing this show, right? I knew we were going to be doing biz butts. I'm seriously. I'm not going to say where I was, but I was someplace where it was an intimate setting, you know, and we you know taking care of some business and stuff, mm -hmm. and I promise you, just because we're doing this segment, this girl walked in. Butts. Father God, 
I'm not even gonna lie. Her butt was huge, but it was real. You, cause you know, it's you something can you can real. tell. You, you can, can tell, tell when it's real. It was real, and I don't, you know, you know, no homo. Y'all already know that. Mm -hmm. Ain't no homo over here. But Father God, I was like this. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a girl like that too with the hamburger stand. She was standing sideways. I was like, Ooh, And she was a sister. Now, yeah. I'm going to tell you, mm -hmm. God has blessed sisters with some real booties. Like, seriously, like sisters got, they got backs. Baby got backs, for real. Baby got backs. And I'm serious. I was, I, I tried, I had to do like this, but I want to look again. I was like, mm, like, <laughs> is that real? And she was young. It really was. It was real. And I was just like, wow. But she had the hips she and everything. She had the everything. small waist and everything. You know, it, 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 yeah, she was proportioned very mm -hmm. nicely. But what I'm saying was, and she had on sweats. Mm -hmm. But you could tell it, it really tell. belonged to her. What'd you say, DJ Ron? You could tell that, you know, she had, mm -hmm. that, that was hers. But yeah. anyway, one of the things about implants is, uh, I'm not sure if everybody knows, is that, um, but implants can actually cause cancer. cancer that's right. Yeah, it can actually cause cancer. Uh, 450 women uh, were diagnosed with cancer from butt implants, mm. and 16 of them died. Mm. Okay, so you know, plastic surgery is real. Okay, and anytime you go under the knife, you have the you know, there's a, you know too much anesthesia, something goes wrong. You know, you can put you put your life in jeopardy. But women are out here taking the risk and taking the chance, not so much just spending the, you know, like 20 G's going to the major plastic surgeon, the surgeon that actually is certified, to this is what right. he does, but they're going across the country, they're going, they're going to his, what, Mexico. Mexico, and getting plastic surgery. I know uh, several people that's going to Mexico to get plastic surgery, um, and I'm not knocking none of that. Do what works for you. But one of the questions I want to ask is, can somebody tell me, you know, it's more and more sisters are actually engaging in plastic surgery. And I'm not going to sit up here and go, oh, it's the white girl's thing. No, it's if you got money type of thing. And if you ain't got no money, you go get the hatch job if you don't have the money. Mm -hmm. But what um, makes a person want to do butt implants? Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you. Let, talk to me. Tell me what you think. 3109 Call Eddie and I and let us know. What do you think is behind the, the mental status of a person really want to actually lay down and implant um what is it silicone silicone in and, their behind and 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 and, and, and I'm, I'm like this if you go to get something like that you got to have the money to get it done right because that that's the ones that, that go to mexico and get them little cheap ones and get it all huge and then they get sick because of them going bad and well k michelle know. paid the money to a real doctor and got it done by somebody a professional and she's still sick and she's trying to take big shit ooh, ooh. <laughs> she, she trying to dig it out her tail right now yeah she over, but you know. She, I'm saying she she, was, it, you can overdo some things, some stuff. Some doctors know they shouldn't let them people overdo. They don't stuff. have. Um, it, it's just like when you go to the beautician. Uh, if you go in there and say, "Well, you know, I want this style," the beautician should be able to say, "You know, I don't think that fits that your picture. face." Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. actually, you know, because when you go yeah. to beauty school, you learn the different shapes of faces mm -hmm. and what actually what hairstyles are best one goes. So if you're gonna do a consultation, you want to tell your customer, you know, the fact that you have your head is this big and you want to just cut all your hair off, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> You probably should not be ball headed. You know what I'm saying? You probably should keep a little something down here, right? Yeah. So when you go in to a plastic surgeon, he should say, based on your body size, you, you, for you to make your butt this big, three times big its size, it's not proportioned to, to your body, body, and your body's not meant to carry all that. But is, have we grown to be a society that is just all about the, the Benjamins? Yeah. Is it all about the Benjamins? That's how a lot of people are. They're about the Benjamins. Somebody tell me, what is your thoughts about actually butt implants? Now, I'm going to say this. I'm not against plastic surgery because people are getting breast implants, face lips, butt implants. Lips. I actually wanted to get uh, a tummy tuck. Now, I didn't want to add anything. I just wanted to take something off. Anytime you walk around with a flap, the kind of flap that I have, you know, Father God. See, my stomach sits in my lap. When, you're, when, you're, when your flap sits on top of other organs, then, you know, you have a real reason. <laughs> To have some surgery, is you that know. Called a muffin top. It's no, a muffin top is when you put your pants on and you push it up and, and it comes out. Like a muffin. Yeah, I'm, so I'm not pushing. Like no, I'm not pushing nothing out. Yours is pancake. No, mine is a, mine, mine done, done lapped over. <laughs> <laughs> like a tie, done lap? Yeah, it's done lap. It, it's, oh, it's 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 down. It's it's like it's it's hanging. You know, and then when you lose weight, it just gets more and more, more dead more. skin. So then you have to fold it up and put it in your pants, right? So, but a situation <laughs> like that, you know, can you I, crease it? Can you crease it? Yeah. You know what? <laughs> it, it, you know, you know, yeah, you have to fold it because anytime you have that extra fat, it. because you fold it inside your zipper. 
Have zipper. you seen people walk around and they and their stomach is hanging hey, down? It's, and, it's and, down here, yeah, it's, 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 it's down, almost down. That's, maybe. A, that's when they, they that's a done like, left over. No, that's that's a that's a I, done I, left I, over. I see, I see and mine has done left over. It's sad. It's sad, you know what I'm saying? But only the person that deals with it actually understands, understands how it feels yeah. and what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? So anytime you have to be in a position, you want to make love, you have to pull it up or hold it, then, you know, it might be a problem. Yeah. So then you might want to get plastic surgery. So I'm not against plastic surgery. I just haven't done it. I think I'm, I'm just not at that position. I'm going to keep folding mine up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep folding mine up, you know what I'm saying, and and pushing it in, you know, that's what I'm going to, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm tying it down, whatever I need to do, because, Eddie, you know what, I'm 57 this year. I'm not going to go in the night. I really, really, if I was when younger, mm. I want to take it off, you know, but right now, I'm at the point in my life where it is what it is. I'm going to live my best life with my Dunlap and my flap and all, you know, and when it gets hot and you sweat, you just throw a little powder under there, you know, stick some, a towel under there and let it catch it. <laughs> <laughs> and you would be all right anyhow. <laughs> oh I'm just keeping it 100. I just, I'm just Father God. That's right. I'm just saying what I got to say because you know, Stormy is transparent. And everybody has some type of body issue that they might not be satisfied no with their body. I have no ass. I got a long back. <laughs> oh, so you just, you just, you, oh, I, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So when he says that, you know what a long back is, right? It just yeah, all runs together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no line of demarcation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no stop All they is crack right there. So when he sits down, it's like sitting on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Father God, he's straight up and down. Uh, okay, so he's flat and I'm fluffy. You know? <laughs> so we stuff it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, what do you do with that? So, how, so you feel like you need to do something about it? I don't need to do shit. I don't give them. I don't know Because ass. can you my imagine? On, can you imagine? <laughs> when you're flat like that, your line of your crack of your butt is almost damn near in the middle of your back. You don't know if it's your back or your butt. <laughs> you don't know where the crack starts. You know, you don't know is, it, is the crack go way up his butt or the crack, you know, up his back, right? Uh, yeah. That's no, what you Well, if you're that flat and it runs together, then you don't know if that's your, that should be your back. Now, your crack might be way up here no, in the see. middle of your back. <laughs> And it's really your butt. I mean, you high waisted butt. <laughs> and your butt is on your back. <laughs> that means your butt oh is on your God. back. Father God, your butt oh. is on your back. Who does that? Mm. He got a his butt is on his back. And, and her I, belly and, on her stuff. And my butt and my butt is in the front. <laughs> Maybe I can take your butt in the back. <laughs> my butt is in the front. Okay. Maybe I can take that and put it in the back. Listen, that's the sad that, part that, about it. No, we can go have a certain a side by side surgery. Child, listen. Listen, listen. listen. What? Okay. Tell them to give me yours and put it back here. And then that way you take my fat stuff and put my ass and then we good. Listen. You have a flat stomach. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know what? Back in the day when they first started doing the tummy tucks out here in the city mm -hmm. of Compton, I don't know if you guys remember Dr. Chavis, okay? Because he, he, he's an OBGYN and he ain't had no business doing tummy tucks. He didn't jacked up a bunch of folks. But didn't kind of mother, think he's in, uh, was that she having or something like that? She she Simple. passed away from having a like cosmetic surgery. I think she had a tummy tuck. I think she had yeah. a breast uh, reduction. Mm -hmm. But the thing about that is several doctors had already told her you, yeah. mm -hmm. that she had some type of heart problem. She so I don't think it was due to the surgery. surgery. I think it was that, just due because she wasn't yeah. physically yeah. fit so, to do it. Again, the mindset. Look at the mindset of somebody that actually has some money. Mm -hmm. No matter what she's in. She was in her late 50s. She was still determined to mm -hmm. have the surgery, even when two doctors told her this that is something that they would actually uh, agree to do the surgery because they didn't think she should get mm -hmm. the surgery. You ain't got to tell me but one time. Yeah. If you can't take my flap off, that's all right. I'm going to die with this flap. You know what I'm saying? I can't even complain. I done had three children with this flap. So uh, every time I look down at this flap and every time it sits in my lap, I'll be like, the Lord has blessed me with <laughs> my children. <laughs> And every time you lay on your back, you say the Lord has blessed you to walk, even though your crack is high. <laughs> Again, our number is three one zero nine four six thirty one ten. I want to know what do you think makes women actually go out and uh, do uh, get plastic surgery? And I'm sure it's my opinion would be to enhance. To enhance. Okay, enhancements, right? Yeah, um, that's like that's like breast implants. I don't have a problem with it if you don't just go overboard with have them all on the chin. But you know. you, okay, so that would be so awesome. You okay to be like sixty five years old and your your breasts still sit up? They still perk perk. That would be good, mm -hmm. huh? Take off your stuff. And, you know, you don't have to wear a bra. 
your stuff is just you know it's just it, it is what it is. I, I don't have a problem with that. I just I, I'm know, sure I just you think don't. People don't. I just don't. Have you ever sucked on a, a breast that was not real? Have I slept on? It? Suck on one. You know, like like a nipple with an implant in it. No. No. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I've never been. Have you ever been with somebody? That, have have you ever been with somebody that have breast implants? No. I just because I'm asking you, how does that feel? Like, can I've you tell? Like, I, I've touched them, you know, but that wasn't. They, they don't. They, they feel kind of. Oh, you, oh, you rubbed on side, some. You, can you, see you, the rubbed on, you rubbed on some. You rubbed on some. You can see them crinkle. So you've been with somebody with one. No, 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 no. Well, how you see? It was one? a photo shoot. Oh, oh, okay. Because a lot of women get breast implants. And there's no wrong with it, as long as you get it done the right way. You know, I think you can still get it done the right way. You still take the risk of any time you yeah. have a surgery of something maybe not going right, right, mm -hmm. of catching an infection. Basically, these women that got these uh, butt implants, the one I was talking about, 16 of them died, mm -hmm. they, they had infections, okay? Mm -hmm. And again, just like silicone, it's putting something foreign but in your body. They're supposed to change that, though. Didn't they supposed to put something else in there that wasn't... Uh like silicone that wasn't what, would water? affect you or something. I don't know if it was water. Or something I, I, you know, I'm not sure what they would put in there that wouldn't <clears> affect <throat> you. But at the end of the day, is this: anytime you put something foreign in your body that God did not give you, you run the risk you of run something, the risk of something having a problem, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's just like when they do these surgeries and they remove something. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have the risk of something going um, wrong. Not wrong. Okay. Right. I believe every organ that God has given us. It's the organs we obviously need, and when we have, they have to be removed, or something has to be, you know, taken like away, or something like right? That. Yeah. Then, you know, there might be some consequences. You know what I'm saying? That's why we have to stay prayed up and, and trust God to trust God. get us through this thing. But um, do you think, um, DJ? Do you think that um, maybe women are getting butt implants or going to this extreme? See, the the, the thing about the implants is it's not it's the, the it's the size. Mm -hmm. They're going like way overboard. Now, I did really do a little study on Kim Kardashian. Y'all know she didn't look like that. Her face has been done. No, but look her her breast has been done and her butt. Look at her sister. Uh, what's the, the young one named? She's a janitor. The one that's a billionaire? The billionaire. Mm -hmm, with the uh, she got them lips done. She got the lip done. She got the lipstick now that made her big. But everybody was talking about Kim now. Kardashian like she had this major butt that was natural. Well, she it's, had a her, before she got it done. She did have a nice butt, you know. But she just went and added more to it. What do you think, DJ? Should she have added more to her mm -hmm. behind? <laughs> I don't think so. I think you know what. Uh, going back to that question you were asking earlier, uh, I think a lot of times women get surgery and get dressed for other women. To be honest, mm -hmm. you said and for other women. For other women, you guys are trying to comp that compete. Compete. Oh, Father something. God, you're not giving anybody. Any, it's not for the man. Or well, of course, that's because we know that's what we like. We like to, you know, we're visual people, so that you guys are trying to, uh, but. For example, you guys go out and get product bags and all this for other women because guys don't care about that. We don't look at the bag and say, oh, I like her because she has that nice bag. I like her because she has a nice ass. That's what I like. So, and But you guys are going out there to try to compete against each other. Okay, my booty, I want a booty like her. Or I want a booty like this. I want a booty like that. Wow. So, mm -hmm. that's, what I, that's what I feel. So you okay. guys are, are competing against each other, not against us, you know, not to please us. Because we, like I said, you know, but, I mean, me personally, it doesn't matter if you have a big butt, you know, big titties. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, of course, it's, it's nice to have. And if, if I have preference, yes, I like girls with big butts. If you ask me which one I like, oh, yeah, I like girls with big butts. But Why do uh, you like a big butt? It's the way it looks to me. The way it looks. But yeah. if your butt is so big, how can you, can you no, get no, under no, that? No, I didn't say no. How can you get? How no, can you, you talked the wrong butt, though. You uh -uh. talked the wrong butt. He yeah. said he liked big butts. I'm just saying. But it's a big butt. He said the wrong butt. No, no, this <laughs> This is a big a butt. This is a big butt. You can have a big butt, and then you can have a too big butt. Right. Okay, too so big butt. too big yes. of a butt. Some of these women, you're right. They went overboard. I've seen, I've seen a lot of women. Um, even now, the young women are going out there getting their butt. It's not even fitting their legs. I mean, their legs are real skinny. And right, thin. right. Oh, just, I, that's nasty. That look, that's gross, actually. But you know, I have seen some women that are, you know proportion really well. Mm -hmm. You know, with. with uh, 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 implants and all that. So, so if you were with a woman and you, you know, your guys was getting it on, and you grabbed her butt and you felt her implants move, you'll still be okay with that. That's still, you'll still be mentally okay with that. Would it bother you that it was implants or not? Long, you know, she, or she, or would you prefer a natural booty? Well, of course, I, I prefer a natural booty, but I have been with women that that, that you know had surgery before, and uh -huh. it, didn't, it didn't feel any different than the regular. Oh, it didn't. No. So how did you know she had surgery? She told me. Oh, okay. So did well, that make to, to some some you can tell. Okay. You know, off the top you can tell. Of course, if she's fifty, 
and her her titties are perfect. Yeah, she she has surgery. You know that. Okay. You know I mean? so, but you know, a lot of times the women when I was younger. So you've been with somebody that has surgery. So yeah. when you're with somebody that has breasts, can and you suck on one, can you tell? No, it's, it, no, you can't. Oh. Uh, you can feel when you feel, you can feel it. it you, can, you, can you can feel. You can feel it, but no, when you suck it on, you can't tell. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if you want deep breaths, go ahead and get them. Because I mean, because you, that's your, that's your real nipple. It's not a fake nipple. It's just the the, the titties are inside. Titty inside. Now they got the different types of. Uh, but I thought that you lose the sensation right? from your nipple once you do that. Well, I don't I, know. The, that part I don't know. But yeah. I, the woman that I was with said she liked that. You said the women, so you knew that was plural. So you've been to more well, women than pet. Oh, you said women. You said women. Well, you said oh, the women. Oh, I'm sorry, the woman I was with. <laughs> no, she said she liked that. No, you know. they they got different ones. They got the one where they get the surgery where they and put the incision under the nipple, and then they got one where they go to cut up under, under the breast. Yes. I don't know what's the difference of the song they, they remove the nipple and then put it back on. Because you know men can get breasts too, right? Right. Yeah, they get those pecs. They call them pecs, don't they? Yeah. So. No, uh, no, yeah. No, 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 no. These are real. Because you can see the little. I can hear the jiggle. <laughs> so, yeah, the yeah. hang. It has yeah, a little yeah. hang. Got the hang. Yeah. You know, when men get older, their breasts droop too. And then you guys mm-hmm. get the little, um, a little estrogen, extra estrogen, and then they pop up like y'all be. No, I always had a little had chest. I <laughs> had chest, it just didn't drop down. <laughs> you see men with titties. <laughs> you need a bra and you need a bra. <laughs> I don't need a bra. My chest still, I still can move my chest. See, you see it? I still move mine. Okay, he moving move move his 56 year old chest. Right. Uh huh. Yeah, right. I can move mine too with this bra. <laughs> stay up, stay up, stay up. Get you a good old Victoria's Secret, honey, or a Lane Bryant, whichever works for you. That's it. Get you a wide back, baby. You'll be all right. Hold them up, pull them back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord, honey. You know, they have contraptions to keep you together. Yes, they do. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you got a flap, sometimes you feel like a flap, sometimes you don't, honey. I'm going to keep my flap going. Yes. yes. <laughs> Had I been a little bit younger, honey, but she, we would have cut her on off. Yeah. Well, see, DJ Ron has had the experience with, um, you know, somebody that had breasts. Have you had the experience with somebody that had a butt? Yeah. You've been around the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, DJ, DJ Ron is famous, though. So he, oh, that's, I forgot. You know, I forgot. He's going to be around all that right. kind of stuff. You know, right, right. Because that's what they, they, they're attracted to. Right. That famous. Right. I forgot thing. about oh, God, that. I love DJ Ron. Right. Him. Girl, do you think you're going to like this little fake butt? Oh, shit. Go there, rub all up against DJ Run. He's smiling. Touch it, DJ. Touch it, DJ Run. You know what? And we're not trying to uh, <laughs> actually um, talk about people that get plastic surgery oh, no. because there's nothing wrong with it. No. Seriously, mm-hmm. I, I don't not. think anything's wrong with getting plastic surgery. I think you should do what you need to do. do I think what happens is TV uh, uh, actually is an influencer. Mm-hmm. I think that Instagram, a lot of people are what we call influencers, and it influences people. Yeah. I think Nene Leaks. I'm gonna just straight up, you know, went too far with her nose. She yeah. cut on her nose twice. Yeah. Okay, Patty the Bell did her nose, but her nose looks good. Yeah. Okay, it depends on sometimes it gets good, like Michael did. You know, he oh boy, his nose, his yeah. nose start falling apart. Yeah, he, you, yeah. You, you sometimes people just go oh boy with it because you know if you look on these these uh, reality shows, what is it, Love and Hip Hop and all of them, every one of the women they got face because if you see them when they talking regular without their makeup on, and then they put the makeup on, they don't look like the same person. Oh, did you see when everybody took out their weed? The weed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Hmm. And it just, I don't know, it's just, I think it's, it's all about image and, you know, I don't have nothing against people, uh, women, whoever they want to be, the guys, whatever they want to do, they implants plants and do what they want to do. If, if, if it makes you feel good and comfortable, that's on you, you know what I'm saying? But I think you got to deal with what God gave you to live a little longer because a lot of times that stuff will affect you. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny, I think men look better than women. Men don't go out, I mean some of them, the majority that I know. Mm-hmm. They deal with whatever God gave them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The skin, they don't, you know, they, they have men weaves, you know, so you have some men that, they got that the lace front now. You know, yeah. they, they, they would do different things and stuff like that. But for the most part, it's women that actually do the enhancements. It's women that actually, you know, adds the hair. It's women that put on the eyelashes. It's women that, you know, uh, makes their lips bigger. It's women that cuts down their nose. It's the women. Mm-hmm. And the men, are, there's no requirement for a man to change his looks. 
And for me, I'm sitting up here looking at you. You look good. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, you don't see, I don't know a whole lot of men that I don't know any that's going to get Botox. I don't, that's mm -hmm. taking the wrinkles. I, seriously. So what does that say um, about society? Because the men actually almost look better than the women. They, they're not requiring all these additives and, and different things. They, they've learned to be okay with, uh, oh, we connecting, with who they are. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just, like I say, you know, I think that Women are beautiful no matter what. It's it's based on the person itself. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. a lot of people think I got to fix this, to make this man like me. You know what I'm saying? But if it's a real man and he loves you for who you are and not for you trying to change yourself, I think that that's what they should look at. You know. Mm -hmm. Let me take a picture. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that. Okay. You think that what? I think uh, uh, some women do it for. You know, like some women uh, do the stuff, certain things for their man because their man want it. And I think that if he really loves her, he's going to love her for who she is and not, you know, and not make her change who she is. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to just accept her the way she is, you know. Uh, is it that we don't accept ourselves? That's what I think, too. I just got on here and told you guys about my neck. You told me I had, and I had wrinkles in my neck since I was in junior high school. It's not a wrinkle. It's not it, a wrinkle. It, 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 it's it's it, a line right there. You know, it's all, oh, honey. Let me, let me stretch. But you know what? Look but like you know, let me say something, though. It's, it's some people that got this <laughs> stuff on that. that little boochie. <laughs> That little I got uh, boots turkey right. thing. You ain't yeah, got no boots. I, I no, 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 yes, no, no, I, no, no. I know what I have. Yeah, but I'm talking about it's not like you see the ones in, the, in this just sack. Look at him. Look, look at him. Sad. Now he's about to see my whiskers. So, you know, we you have whiskers. <laughs> yes, I have these little gray whiskers on the side. But you're still beautiful, though. Well, so thank that, you. That, thank that, you. You know that, what? You can't take that from me. You guys, come on, somebody give us a call. You guys called in on R. Kelly. You guys want to talk about that. We, they we don't want to talk about the bus. Half of them say, no, nah, I, I got my I, You know what? <laughs> I, I, I know some people that had plastic surgery, and they look good. And they didn't yeah, go overboard. overboard. They you didn't go overboard. Because you can get stuff done and look natural. You right. know, you can get, like, if you get a butt, okay, say, for instance, you, you, you got a small frame, and you get, like, a nice little curve in there, mm -hmm. it's okay. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to get it way out here, and you walk around looking like a duck. But like DJ Ron said, we women get it for other women. For trying to outdo he said women money. buy bags like, for other I, women. Like you know, I never really thought about that because I true, definitely though. don't do anything for but, another woman. But I, you know, but see, I have so, to but, think. But, but hold up. Hold, okay, hold, hold up. up. All right. But you got women that want to be that one. You know, that feel this woman is doing better than me, so I want to look like her and be like her. Do you think, uh, uh, man, that, that. But it's women like that. It's women like that. That, mm -hmm. that want to be, she got long hair. Oh, I like her hair. I'm gonna, and they go get her hair down like her. You know what I'm saying? It's women that do that. The way he said, you know, mm -hmm. it's women that, that envy this one woman and want to be like her. Do you guys think we're walking around all looking alike? But why? No. <laughs> I know we're not all walking around looking alike, but wise. But um, based on what you said, based on what DJ Ron said, do you think women are all kind of walking around looking alike? Mm -hmm. You uh, said that. Uh, yes. Are you on? Yes, I think you guys look alike. Body wise, yes. Body wise, mm -hmm. as and far he's as he's just like, talking about the ones that's getting a big booty plan. Everybody want to look the same, so everybody won't be looking like Nicki Minaj and exactly and stuff like that, you know. So okay, so when I said that, I meant you know, I meant as far as like um, the lashes and the eyebrows and the hair. You know, and stuff like that. I mean, you know, we just, you know, the, the eyebrow thing, I don't know how many years it's been going on. It's been going on for some several years. But, you know, in my day, we didn't really do eyebrows. We didn't really draw on eyebrows. Nowadays, you know, you're not done unless your eyebrows is on fleek. On fleek. Right. And, and you know what I don't like, though? You know what really just irks me is them long-ass eyelashes. They don't want to stick past your forehead. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> They like the eyebrows on them cars, the eyelashes on the cars. They put on the cars, and women walk around. The, I saw this girl one day the last week. She walks in and thought she was cute. She was just strolled up in there, and that damn eyelashes was long, and the one was caught slightly hanging. I said, I'm going to tell her so bad, your eyelash is coming off. But I didn't say nothing. <laughs> she knew. She was just talking and flapping. Girl, that, 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 she was talking loud, and, and them eyelashes was past. They was long like this. They was this long, past her forehead. Mm -hmm. That's I guess I don't understand. Well, I think what happens is, um, again, you have some people that do it for enhancement. Say, for instance, I have a mascara because my eyelashes are not that long. So, but I put mascara. That's okay. On, I put mascara on to enhance the enhance ones that the, I have, have right? Yeah. 
But a lot of people do things for enhancement, but a lot of people just, they're not Over, taught. They go overboard. Mm -hmm. And again, I, I feel like this. When you're dealing with professional people that are taking care of you, mm -hmm. you should have enough in you to say to your client that this might be a little bit too much. Okay. That this might, you know what I'm saying? Okay, what? You're right. Because this is... I'm a, just saying, it, like, this would be too heavy in your eye. You know, you, you I'm serious. When you start to... Uh, patronize certain businesses, okay, mm -hmm. that might do things cheaply or whatever the case may be, then they're going to give you whatever you ask for. Mm -hmm. So if you want to stick some glue up on there and stick some big old thick black lashes way out here, they're going to do it, mm -hmm. right? If because want, yeah. if, if that's what you want. Mm -hmm. Me do for you. Me do for you. <laughs> we make you look very nice. What are you like? You. you want long nail, short nail. Right. Me do for you. Me do for right. you. They don't care that Me it might that. give you an eye infection. But then if you go to a professional, professional that person. can say, okay, based on your eye, the you know. And your forehead, your eyes like, should go past your forehead. <laughs> but based on the, you know, the way your eye, your the shape of your mm -hmm. eye, this would be this type of eyelash that would look nice for you. Right. Exactly. Okay. But that's somebody that actually cares and wants you mm -hmm. to come, come back. Come back. Right. Yeah. Not you say that helped them put my eyes on when I got it. But I think what happens is and, and, and you know, tell me if I'm wrong, and that's why a lot of people go to Mexico or go to these different places to get their surgery done a little bit cheaper. The real cheaper. doctors won't do it. The way it's they not so much to. the real doctors won't do it, but what happens is we see what's going on in Beverly Hills and mm -hmm. we see what's going on in T V and these people have the money to actually, to actually pay do it. For Some it. of them don't have it, so they go that way. And then you let these know, well, not so much they go this that way, but what happens is you have, say for instance, that people that will provide the service that say I could do it cheaper, but it's not actually professionally done. Right, right, right. So they actually flood uh, the less fortunate community and, and let them say, okay, you can have this too, okay, and you don't have to pay as much, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm gonna stack it on here and, and put it way out here. These are meat lashes, these are whatever. Nobody's really concerned with. Uh, your eyes or the infections and stuff like that. You had people that were going to hotel rooms and getting butt injections. Buttons, yeah. You know, yeah. you had one lady that actually that actually got injected cement in her behind. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, again, we get so caught. I, I think we get so caught up on. Oh, we got a call. <laughs> Go ahead, Carla. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So basically, you're okay. You you think it's okay to actually uh, get butt implants, but you think it needs to be appropriate to your size because they don't understand what actually really comes to having a really big butt because people go overboard. Right. Not at all. Not at all. Actually, I think that you would be a show to get a consultation on big butts. <laughs> <laughs> you said a consultation on big butts. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay, okay, okay. So we have somebody online right now that actually has a natural big butt. Big butt naturally has a big butt. Has your big butt caused you any problems? I'm sure. <laughs> your big butt. What? She said oh, her, yeah. her back and. Other than her. people trying to, I mean, but you look good in your clothes. Um. Yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah. The thing about it is this: that's a whole other subject. You have to pick the clothes that are complementing to you. People, they walk past me with these tight clothes, and you know you're a size 14 and you got on a size 8. That's not cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's okay. not cute. Okay. But I've had plenty of men say, um, oh, you sure look good. You're lying. You, you know you're you know you lying because it doesn't, it doesn't feel good on something that you wear. Um, you know, I've had it perfect. 
Right, right. Especially when he said, okay, now, I wouldn't go get no uh, booty because no other woman got no booty. But when he said, this woman Purses got a Prada, a Prada bag and you, oh, <laughs> she got that Gucci, you know, men don't care about it. But women are concerned about the, the latest and the greatest, you know what I'm saying? So I, I never really stopped to go, wow. I, probably because... I don't care, <laughs> you know. I mean, I might have a purse or two, but I'm not. I've never went, you know. It's never been because somebody else had it. But wow, that is an uh huh moment. Every day. It's the most amazing thing. And African American women, we are so insecure sometimes. Um, you got a big boobs, you got a big butt, you got a small waist, and I do. I have a small, I have medium sized boobs, a small waist, but I got a big butt. Oh, uh, she's a brick house. Go, she's a brick house. <laughs> And it's nothing that you can do about that. That's a natural booty. Yeah. No, no, no. If, can you do, you know, like some women have natural big breasts and then mm -hmm. they go to get a reduction? Mm -hmm. Can you get a butt reduction if it's a real butt? You know, I don't mm -hmm. know. About I never that. heard of it. You know what I'm saying? I've never heard that. I, if I if, if I don't have no butt, you know, if if you have, if I had a big butt, I probably wouldn't do a butt. No, I'm just saying, you know, like when people say that, like, like big breasts, so people have big breasts, natural big breasts, and it gives them back problems, you know, so right. they go get it reduced right. so that it won't run right. so far. That might be something to research. I would never do it. <laughs> she said something to research. Yeah. You know what? But, um, that might be something to research. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate your show. I wanted to call in because I just appreciate both of you so much. Thank you for calling. We thank you for watching. Uh, no, no, no problem. Thank you, darling. Thank you, you have so a lovely much. Night. All right. All right, big booty. Bye. Bye, big booty. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Now, we call somebody that has a natural big butt. Yeah. As a now, can we get somebody that calls that got a fake butt? And, you probably, and we're probably not going to get that. And that's yes. okay. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, we're not sitting here talking against it. No. We're just putting some statistics out there. Basically, what, what we found, Eddie, what you and I have started researching was that um, there's a lot of problems that can actually take, take place. place right. Okay. And when we put the video together, it, what you see was oversized behinds. Mm -hmm. These were not just normal looking butts. And I guess it's just like when you go get in breast implants. If you're gonna actually do it, you may as well, I guess, get get it where it's it's bigger. Well, you got some some women that have natural breasts that they kind of like drop and they just go get it slightly lifted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know what they do to do that to lift it, but some women they don't do a lot of that. They just go get it lifted. So it can kind of like, they can still sit up a little bit. Like, you, know. <laughs> you get a wonder bra, they'll sit up. <laughs> but they, but you get it's a just like bra, when you take it off, you want it to be the same way, right? Because, <laughs> mm. you know, they got those butt jeans now. The, the jeans with a butt, it's got butt in it already. So if you got a butt, you know. That's that's crazy because as women, we go through a whole lot of things we uh, have to do or, or put on or just and that's to, why to I good. respect women to the utmost because you guys have to go through so much to uh, be a woman you know stuff that you guys do we can't do or we I mean you manage. actually can but you probably just don't you can you can you can, can get, have a baby you, no we you can't can have a baby what I'm saying but you can get your chest done you can you can get some other yeah, things yeah we can do a lot we can get this guy's got fake calves fake muscles and all that kind of stuff I don't know you gotta get a thing trying to do some push ups I don't, you know, I don't go up on the night and be walking. Everybody say, "Damn, last week he was fat. Today he got a six pack. He got muscles mm -hmm. and everything." Mm -hmm. Dang, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -mm. Nah. Well, got to do it the right way. They did. Um, I only have the statistics for 2017. They did 36,000 mm -hmm. butt implants, mm -hmm. and that was like a profound, profound number. number. 450 women had cancer, butt implants, anything foreign in your body. You just never know how your body's going to react. How's it going to react to it? Right. It mm -hmm. could actually cause cancer. You know, and it's the same type of cancer that some of the implants in breasts were causing. Mm -hmm. It's about, I think it's just a lymphoma. Yeah, lymphoma. a lymphoma. Butt implants have been linked to no. cancer, which is a, a lymphoma. Right. Uh, so, you know, it, you, you take the risk, you know, and you take a risk whether you go to a, uh, you go you pay 20000 or you pay 10000 mm -hmm. You know, the fact that you go into the knife, you take the risk. I think mentally, we want to find out what a woman is thinking. What are you thinking when you go and actually get some butt implants? Um, I have saw some pictures where uh, women had to go back to the hospital because it didn't heal correctly, mm -hmm. or they got a staph infection. They got an, inf you know, the wound was infected. The same thing even with a tummy tuck. I mean, one of the things I looked at is that you have to have this hole and this drainage and all this. Mm -hmm. I'm just not prepared to mm -hmm. go through that. I've mm -hmm. had three cesareans, 
and the fact of the matter is when they, they cut you open, okay? It, it heals, it takes longer yeah. to heal. Yeah, I, I couldn't even imagine having a hole and having hole something and drain, drain it, it out. Right, you know. And then I guess in the long run, it might be worth it. Because, I mean, I can imagine being bombed without having this flat. You know what I'm saying? I can imagine having a size smaller pants if I didn't have to carry this extra fat in the front. I can imagine a whole lot of things, but what I'm not going to imagine is cutting it off. <laughs> I'm going to keep on pushing. Keep on I'm going to keep, you look, I'm going to keep on pushing. Because anybody got to be doing all this here. You know what? Like, I think a lot of times, if I was, I would be doing it for me. Mm -hmm. I would not be doing mm -hmm. it for anybody mm -hmm. else. I wouldn't get the tummy tuck for the other woman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's funny. Uh, I, I'm still... Uh, it was profound what DJ Ron said. Everything is pretty much done with women. It's before the other woman. Mm -hmm. They try to outdo the other woman or try to be her or whatever, you know. I, I just don't think as, as, as women we're that superficial. There might be some. Oh, there's some. There's the, some. It's the younger generation, though. I yeah. Think. Director, when you buy your stuff, do you have other women in mind? Just shake your head. No. 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 Mm -mm. When you buy your purses, have you ever had uh, another woman in mind? If you ever consider doing anything different to your body, have you had other women in mind? Oh, no. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah, for yourself. Yeah, I, like I said, I think you have some superficial women out there that's like, oh, she got that, I'm getting that. You know, oh, she did that, I'm doing that. But that the, the mindset, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, a mature person, nine times out of ten, if you love yourself, it's all about what you want to do for you. Like I said, when I went in there and put this mascara on, I ain't had nobody else in mind but mine, but me. I was worried about, I was like, honey, these little be eyelashes. Child, look, let me brighten up my eye. That was for me. Mm -hmm. You know, that wasn't for anybody else. But, um. Felicia, you look good to be 100, though. You really do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. You do. Th uh, I know. You're not uh, 100. That's just. It's okay. I feel you could call me 100, honey. You can call and me. You still look good. Yes, I'm going to take all of that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to take right. all of that. I when really you get 100, you're going to still look the same. Mm hmm. That's dead. Even with the little boot chin. Yeah, they the, said they say black don't crack, but it, black cracks. It cracks. It cracks. It, cracks. it, it, it don't crack. Cracks. As, it don't crack as soon as the others crack. It doesn't crack the same way, mm -mm. but it has its it its has. flaws, it right? Flaws. It, yeah, yeah. But you know, I tell people all the time, like my mom, she's like, "Oh, I'm getting older, mom. Of course you're getting older." But yeah, it's time to say. I said, "But you still look good for your age." Because there's some women that's younger than you that look older than you. So you still yeah. look at that. that that's, yeah. that's amazing because I was in there telling my husband, I was like, oh my God, look at all this gray hair in my head. And you know what he said? He said, you're just getting older, baby. That's yeah, all. That's all. And I, that was so comforting. <laughs> it didn't make him say, well, damn, you need to die. What you going to do with that? But you got some people that probably would have said it. Yeah. What you going to do with that? But what I'm doing, you guys, tell me guys what you think. You guys can just, you know, you can text it or you can call in. I am going to do, I'm looking to do in a couple of months and, and, uh, 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 a change, and it's for me. It ain't got to do with nobody what else. Do? Well, what I really want to do is seriously. My hair is really, uh, um, if my hair would go all the way gray, I would wear it gray. But it's not. I don't know why the director's shaking her head like, no, she won't. No, she won't. But if it would, if it would get to the point where it would just be white, I would be okay with that. So what I'm thinking about doing is, I'm really thinking about going to this, um, uh, going to this beautician and actually. Uh, Taking coloring my hair, uh, I think it would be like a pale white. Like, is it a pale white? Like um, a platinum? It's like a light platinum. Why are you doing that? <laughs> he said, Why are you doing that? Be because, to be honest with you, it would cover my gray more so than me, than what I have now. And, but I'm just, and I'm gonna cut no, my no. hair off and go natural. Right? Well, he just, said, what? Just, you don't no, think so? No, no, just let it grow. Let it do what it's supposed to do. Let it do what, what is it? Doing. What is that? When it gets fully gray, it'll get fully gray. You may not be fully gray. You may not go I'm fully not gray. fully gray. So but... leave the platinum alone. Leave, got, keep what you got. Why? Don't ask nobody what they think you should do. do I'm, not, I'm just saying what do, do what, what God I'm, I'm going to do what I want to no, do. No, anyway. no, no, no. You do what God is doing. And what is God doing? Let it, let it gradually get gray. <laughs> sure. You didn't do that with your beard. Your beard is all covered up. Let, no, my, beard, all, my, my beard is gray. You over here with all that no, black it's uh, not. That's how my shoe polish in your beard. I, ain't nothing in and my I beard. covered up your look, gray. Look, no, and now no, you're going to no, tell me no, I don't no. need to fix it. My, my, my beard is gray. Oh. And it's there. And I ain't did nothing with it. You know what I'm saying? I did it for like the movie and stuff. But, look, look, for, now he did, but why you do it for the movie? Because <laughs> I was playing a different age. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But look at it now. Look at it. That's natural. That's not your gray. Mm -hmm. 
So what should I do? Should I go diet great so I can I didn't say, No, I didn't say you should diet great. I just was saying for me, I'm thinking about doing a different style. I'm thinking about cutting my hair all off, growing a natural, and becoming in with a, a light white platinum. That's what I want. I like that color. I want to, I want something different. And Eddie was over here like, Father God, don't ooh, don't ooh. Just leave it like it is. I just think just leave it like it is. I'm, but that's the <laughs> thing about me. I'm not gonna leave it like it is. It's not my style. Okay, what's your style? I, I, I switch up. I'm gonna do. I'm serious. I do. I switch up. My hair's been black. Now, if you can look at it, you see it's light. I've already colored it. It's mm -hmm. light, okay, right? Well, just let if you see color. back here, you'll see it's light. I'm thinking about going this light color right here. But that ain't no platinum. That's like a blonde. It is platinum in the back. See on the ends right here, the white. That's not platinum. Okay, well, yeah. What y'all think? No. You said no. <laughs> You gonna sit your old looking ass over here. So got the thinking, yeah, I'm about to look good. Nope, my head was too big and my grade of hair was a different. I didn't do it for me, but I did see on see it on you first. What? Oh, that's my girl. She said you had a, okay. So you had a haircut. I thought it was awesome. So I got it and thinking, yeah, I'm going, I'm about to look good. Nope, my head was too big. Too big. <laughs> See, every, every style's not for everybody. You know, you might can wear the short and everybody can't do it. Okay. You know, let's try to look at somebody else. All right, head. Charmaine, girl, thank you. Okay, yeah. I, I, grow your hair back, Charmaine. If you got the big ass head, just grow your hair back like you see. <laughs> you can't do it. Well, it nine, ain't for everybody. Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna, uh, it's time for a change. Okay. It's time for a change. I'm, I'm gonna see. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna come in there one day, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna put that lace front and have my fade. <laughs> come in looking like Ron C. Ron C got real fade hair, though. You know what I'm saying? It's real. I'm gonna come in with the lace front looking like Ron C. <laughs> you know what? At the end of the day, we're just really here to uh, give you some information. We're not against getting butt implants. We're not get against getting breast implants. We're not getting, uh, getting tummy tucks. Because, like I said, if I was a little bit younger, I would have gotten it done. I'm not mad at some of the guys that's getting the lace front fades and stuff. You know, that's what they want to do. That's what they want we to do. We were actually just talking about the people that overdo it. Yeah. That just do way too it. much, right? You seen it? You seen it? They look still too real, much. don't they? <laughs> it's crazy, though. I, I don't even know. I just keep my little ball. Well, I'm just going to say stay woke on plastic surgery. Stay yeah, woke careful. on uh, the doctors that you... Uh, are using to get your yeah. plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. Make sure you do your homework. Make sure you make sure they're licensed and they're actually didn't do a ten month course. Okay, that they've yeah. had some time and hours commercial? put in. You know, as far as doing plastic surgery, uh, you know, do your homework. Yeah. Do your homework because it's, it's like I said, sixteen people died, four hundred and fifty people caught an infection. Um, it's a lot going down with this plastic surgery. So you you want to make sure that you are employing people to do your surgery that are actually professionals. You just got to say, is it worth losing your life for, or is it worth getting the right people to do it for you? Right, right, right. Don't run to the border. Don't run to the border. Because <laughs> you won't get back with that wall that your president's putting up. You crazy. You crazy. You crazy. You crazy. Still well, holding up that fake booty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, with that being said, um, we will be streaming live on March 21st at Greater Zion Family Church, okay? Uh, city councils are gonna be out. It's time for election in the city of Compton. Mm -hmm. And you guys know Eddie and I love to rep the city of Compton. Compton. We are from Compton. Our team will be streaming live at Greater Zion mm -hmm. Family Church in the city of Compton. Uh, so what we're gonna do is be preparing to uh, put a video together so that you guys can see the potholes, the trash, uh, and to be honest with you, on Long Beach Boulevard, uh, the ladies of the evening have actually slowed down. Slowed down. Yeah, yeah, it's not. A, it's not. I actually haven't seen any in a while. Seen, yeah. Right. But we're gonna show you how the city of Compton is living, and basically, we're gonna be streaming live uh, people that are running for positions as far as city council in the city of Compton, and we want to see what and hear what they have to say. Mm -hmm. You know, because seriously, it, this is no joke. People make a lot of jokes about the potholes and when you're driving down the street. No, it's but no it's joke. serious. It's, it's, it's I, I, real serious. I can serious. show you some pictures of rims of mine that's cracked all the way around from hitting the pothole. Right. The tax situation, just the money situation. Um, you do know they are bringing in a, um, what's that hamburger stand you guys like? That hamburger? Um, 
In and out. Oh, in and out is supposed to be coming to In and Out supposed to be coming to Compton. Wait. But Compton is uh and this is actually over there on the ninety one and central. They're building an in and out, okay? Uh you can find Where are they putting that? Right there where the uh Carl Jr. is at? Right across from McDonald's. Okay. You, right where that gas station is. It's oh, where, where the uh, Coco's used to be? Yeah, that's actually okay. considered Compton. That's Compton. That's yeah. considered uh -huh. Compton, right. Some people thought it was Carson. No, that's Compton. But you guys, if you live in the city of Compton, come out to Greater Zion Family Church on, at 6 o'clock on the 21st of March, and let's see what the people that are running for office has to say. And it's, you know? on, it's, on, uh, El it's on Wilmington. Uh, Between? South of El Segundo. It's on um, Wilmington, south of El Segundo. Yeah, between Compton and actually El Segundo, right? Between, between Be Rosecrans. Rosecrans. I'm sorry, between mm -hmm. Rosecrans and, and Compton. It's at six o'clock. You guys Rosecrans. really need to come out and um, uh, see who's so, running mm -hmm. uh, for office and actually talk to the people that are already in office. It's very, very important. Your vote does matter, mm -hmm. and you need to see, you know, what they have to say because I don't see any change. You know, no. there was a video. Uh, that uh, Mayor Asia Brown put up showing that they were filling the potholes, but they were filling the potholes not with what they, okay, they were filling the potholes with that gravel, the gravel but yeah. the bottom line is what they did do was this. When it was time to have that parade, they did that whole, they did the part of Compton Boulevard where the parade was going and they stopped it right there. So the part that the parade had to drive, ride through, mm -hmm. those streets were done professionally. Mm -hmm. That's when they came out and they actually put the work in Okay, but right now what they're doing is they're just filling the holes uh, up with gravel. And that comes right. And up. she put that on her uh, Facebook page, and I guess we were supposed to be okay with that. And 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 we seen somebody out there with a shovel, you know, pounding yeah, it down yeah. and stuff like that. I was looking like, but what happened to you know when you actually pour it and then you have everybody out there working and you, you, you the, the everything that goes along with it. That's not the same type of mm -hmm. work that was done when they did for the parade. Mm -hmm. Now that was the parade for 2000 and actually was it 17? 17? Mm -hmm. 2017 and then for 2018 we had we just got this one smooth road right here on Compton Boulevard between Long Alameda. Beach Boulevard and Willowbrook. Oh, Alameda. Alameda. Alameda, you're right, and Alameda. So that's done. Okay, uh, and so see, I live in that area. So, but right now you have it's so many holes in the street. It's ridiculous. I mean, everywhere you go, and the rain makes the holes bigger. Yeah, because yeah. that little sod they put up in there it comes right up. Yeah. Once you hit these trucks hitting it or whatever, mm -hmm. it's bad. Right. So we you, will be driving like this the whole time. You drive. We through. won't be. We will not be doing a show next week because we're going to be preparing to put our team together. And get everything that we need in place to make sure we present a wonderful show for you guys as we stream live with uh, Pastor Michael J.T. Fisher, Fisher, who is actually an awesome pastor. He's doing major things and wonderful things in the city of Compton. And so they will be at his church, Great Zion Family Baptist Church, actually talking to the community, okay, um, and, you know, selling themselves on what they're going to do, yeah. right? And we're going to see how that's going to go. So we will be there streaming live and hopefully being able to do some interviews. So uh, look forward to seeing our posting in regards to that. But again, it is always a pleasure to come before and you and a blessing for sure to come before you on Thursday nights from 630 to 8 and let Eddie and myself act a fool, give you our stay wokes and have the little studies that we want to talk about. So we want to say again, we appreciate you all, but you will be seeing us airing live on 321. So stay tuned. And stay woke.